Hi, this is Tara for HealingCrystals.com, and this is the Zodiac Crystal Card Reading for the week of November 14th through November 20th. So, um, just a reminder, we have a very powerful full moon, um, it's a super moon, tomorrow night. Now, a super moon means that it appears closer to Earth, so a lot of times, remember, we... Our, our, our like physical eyesight is really important to us, so a lot of times it, it creates more of a reaction in us. So that's why a supermoon can feel more powerful. Um, you know, technically, scientifically, the energy is basically the same, but, but we may feel it more intently just because the moon seems more intent to us because it's closer. Um, and it, it's um, the moon itself is going to be in the sign of Taurus, okay, which is an Earth sign. So um, the first card that we draw that represents who we're going to be in the coming week, the kind of energy that we're going to be putting out there. And that card um, is going to be the Virgo root chakra card. This is perfect energy. This is just the kind of energy that you want to be putting out there into the world when you've got a full moon going on. Because remember. The moon affects our inner selves. It, it's our emotional, our spiritual, our mental selves. These are the kinds of things that sometimes it can feel a little ungrounding. It can feel uncomfortable when when these um, it, these feelings come out more into the physical world. So you want to be as grounded as possible. You want to be able to use this energy in the most productive way possible. And the best way to do it is to be grounded. It's wonderful to feel carried away, to feel lost in like the, you know, the, the energy of a full moon, but it's not going to help you use the energy for a practical purpose. Virgo energy is going to help you use the energy for a practical purpose because that's what Virgo is all about. It's about taking what you, it, it's about working with what you've got and making something, well, Virgo's a perfectionist, so it's about making it all perfect, which we all know is, is kind of an impossible feat in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways it isn't because it's, it's a good goal to have. Perfection, just like everything, is relative, so it could feel perfect to you. You could be like, oh wow, look at what I did with this. This is exactly what I wanted, and that's the kind of energy that you want to put out there. I think using the Virgo energy is going to help you take your your inner being and, and marry it with your outer person, with your physical being, and find that perfect balance that you need to really make the energy work for you this week, work in your favor. Um, some of the crystals represented here, black agate, red selenite, oh, what's this other one? Oh, mahogany obsidian. I really like mahogany obsidian. Mahogany obsidian is a very good crystal to use for this full moon because you've got now keep in mind, the moon is going to be in an earth sign too, so it's really cool that we're, we're answering that earth energy with our own earth energy. The Taurus um, energy is, is all about the reward that you get from your work, while Virgo energy is about doing the work. Okay, so you're going to sense the reward that you can get and then you can put out in, into the world you know, the effort that you're going to make to achieve that reward. All right, so this is really good energy, okay? And it's really good to keep yourself grounded. Think about your root chakra. Think about channeling that energy into your root chakra so that you can, you can be guided by your emotions but not controlled by them, okay? There's, there's a very important difference, and that's how you want to use the energy. You want to use it as a guide. You want to trust your intuition, but you don't want to be carried away by it. You want to be in control of it, and by being grounded, by using Virgo energy, it's going to enable you to do that, okay, or at least get you started. The second card that we draw, that's going to be um, your greatest strength and your greatest weakness for the week. That card is going to be the Capricorn Manifestation card. Um... The crystal represented here is Red Tiger Eye, another really good crystal to use with this full moon. And also with Capricorn energy, and it's really interesting, we've got more Earth energy coming out, okay? Um, so here's an even bigger sign to be grounded, to ground yourself. Capricorn energy is probably the most practical of all of the Earth um, signs. 
you know, because Capricorn comes at a time of the year when you need to be practical. Um, you know, the, the, it, it, party time is over. Now it's time to, you know, prepare for what's up ahead and, you know, make sure that you have enough of what you need in order to not just survive, but to thrive um, as you're moving forward into a new year, into a new season, because that's what Capricorn does is it kicks off the winter season um, uh, and then also the, the, the summer season if you're um, like in on um, the southern hemisphere. So, um, but, but it's still about being prepared. It's about having what you need. And that's how you can use this positively. You, you know, you can manifest and you do that through practical actions, okay? While also using, you know, the power of the moon. Your, your heart, your mind, your will. You put them all together and you start gathering. If you have the will and then you start putting action behind it, boom, you've got what you need. That's a positive use of this and that's a positive way to manifest whatever it is that you're going to need to, to move forward. Um, and also to be, like I said, to be comfortable, to thrive in the present. We talk a lot about, about where we're going Earth energy is, is very powerful for seeing where you're at and for, for being happy and comfortable in where you're at. And that's the best place to start off when you're, when you're heading forward, which, of course, we always are because we're always in, in motion, um, just like everything in the universe. Um, so how this can work against you is if you get so caught up in the practical, so caught up in the necessities that you don't give yourself time for your wants and your needs. That's where the full moon energy can come in, okay? Because that's what the full moon's going to be all about. Again, you're marrying the practical with, with you know, with, you're marrying what you need with what you want, okay? And, and that's how you don't want to go too far. Capricorn has a tendency to do that. It's a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not extreme, but, but very, um, it, it's very cut and dry kind of energy. It's like, this is what you need. You don't need any more. Just take this and be happy with it. Um, and, and it's also, Capricorn energy is also, um, it has a very entitled um, energy to it where you can feel like, you know what, this is what I should have. Why don't I have it? And, and that's a negative. You're, now you're feeding the negative energy of, of the negative parts, and you don't want to do that. You want to feed the positive parts. You want to say, this is what I need. Here's how I'm going to get, okay? And that's a positive use of the energy, and that's how you start manifesting more of the positive energy of all of the earth signs that, that have come up so far this week. And now our last card. That's going to represent the surprise that the universe has for us. Oh, that's interesting. That card is going to be the Libra Manifestation card, okay? And the crystal represent here is Pyrite. That's a really interesting crystal to come out as, as the surprise this week because Pyrite is known as Fool's Gold. Um, and a lot of times the full moon, especially in Taurus, it can make you feel a little foolish. Um, maybe in, in recognizing what it is that you want. It, it could... As I said, the full moon is going to bring out those those deep things that, that you keep hidden that you don't want to recognize maybe because you feel a little like, oh, that's not possible. I'll never be able to do this. Again, feeding that negative energy. Don't do that. Um, but, you know, pyrite lets us know anything is possible. Is it really fool's gold? It's just as bright and shiny and warm and nice, right? So it, it, it's letting you know that you've got... You, the willpower and the confidence to get whatever you want. And, you know, the Libra energy, now, now you're adding the air energy to Earth, which is really, you know, that can help stir things up a little bit. Using your mind to put yourself into action, okay? To, to you know, start doing those practical things. Imagine it, see it in your mind, and then start seeing it in the physical world. And that's how you're bringing all of the energies together. You know, I'm a big believer. I say it over and over again. I know you're probably like, oh, here she goes again. It all starts in the mind, okay? 
I think the full moon working with the air energy marries the mind and the heart. So what you're feeling goes into your mind and you can see the possible, not just the possibility, but the probability of it. So now you know what you want, you know how to go and get it, and working with the earth and energy, you can start putting all that stuff into action, okay? Don't forget to check out the weekly and daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a very happy, magical, powerful week, and enjoy the full moon over the next few days.